chopping block for demonstration purposes only. I'm not a chopping block kind of dude. The flick. we doing it is glorious out right now I hope you're all doing well by the way what a day what a freaking day I can't believe it it's like it's November 2nd or something and it is just it's glorious it I just we had a mail strike friends so I haven't been able to mail anything it's back on now but it's Friday so it kind of put me you know put us back a couple days I had an axe or two I wanted to go I couldn't do it so we're back on sketch now. So apparently there's a bunch of, my wife just texted me and she said there's a bunch of uh, packages in the mail, friends. Liam, I hope it's your ax head. And a couple other people that have been sending a couple things. Nothing's come, the mailbox has been empty for like three or four days, which is odd. So they, they went on strike for a couple days, friends, but they're back on. We're just hopping down there now. Just going to the mail, then going home, grab my power saws, a couple axes, and heading out to Brian's place, my, my good buddy Brian out in Yellow Point, where a hand fell at Maple. Yeah. Let's see what they got here for us. She goes. There she goes. Let's take a look, friends. I'll put you guys here so you can see what's going on here. Put that in gear so it don't roll away on me. Let's uh, let's have a look. Where'd you go? There you are. Apparently the wife said there's some, oh, here we, oh. Oh yeah, see, here we go. Oh, who's it? The Taylors. Oh, look at that. It's the Taylors. Brian Taylor, how are you guys? Thank you. Now I got something else here, friends. Let's make sure nothing else is in there. Those are mine. I bet you there's something in here. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Who's this? Well, look at that. We'll put this back up there because that's theirs, I think. Yeah, it is. Don't want to throw my keys in there. Look at this from Kim I Matt Cartney. McCartney. Oh, listen to that, friends. Very cool. Let's go down to Friesen's and get these parcels. Let's go. You guys coming? Yeah, you are. What the heck? Let's go. Let's hang out together. Let's go party. Let's go party in the Mercury. I'm going to drive me a Mercury and cruise it up and down the road. Man, I just, man, I tell you, this weather. Oh, it's actually warm. I got a sweat on almost, friends. Oh, look at this apple tree. <gasps> I wonder if those are tasty. Yeah. Let's open a window. Hey, friends, remember these old windows? These kind? I'll tell you right now, what do you want to talk about air conditioning? You don't need air conditioning with these kinds of windows. Right? Yeah, I'll see you down at Friesen's. So, the Taylors. Um, oh, oh, I think I know what this is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Reagan. Reagan. Yes. My little buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love these pictures. Oh, look at this. Hey, Reagan, is that me up? Oh, I love it. Hey, you know something, Reagan? He is so excited about doing tree work with me. He is, buddy. He's so excited. I'll tell him you said so, okay, bud? All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the awesome picture. So this is, I thought this was me and Hogan up there. I figured that out. Look at that, friends. Are those raindrops coming down or what is that? Or maybe they're tops falling off the trees. 
You are a great artist, Regan. Regan. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna hang that up in the shop, okay? In the bunker. All right. Okay, look who look who we got here, friends. Look at this. She's got one of my favorite shirts on. Yeah, here she is. Look at she's rocking plaid. She knew I was coming. Hello, my dear. Hello. I have a couple of these. You do have a couple of those. And you look pretty every time I got the look at that shirt. <gasps> I know it's it's pink plaid for plaid for girls. But I like for it. Cedar girls. You could cut the sleeves off that, couldn't she, friends? <laughs> and show my muscles. Yeah. They're, 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 I say, she does such a good job here. So we're picking up parcels. Now, okay, no, oh. One has got duty on it. Mikey Heisman, we got duty. I better put you guys down. I gotta pay some duty on this stuff. Talk to you in a minute. Gina, say bye. Maybe we'll crack into it, eh? Yeah, let's do it. I'm trying this new head thing out. I kind of like it. I don't like wearing a hard hat when I don't have to. So we're heading out. There's them cedars I chopped down right there. But I'll tell you something, that, that axe, oh man. You, you're opening your axes tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, wow, it's beautiful. Anyway, so here we are. I just brought a couple axes, one is two I wanna try. This is that government, government issue. What, what's going on here? Mushroom pudding. Yeah, did you find any? Oh, there's nothing. I know there is. <laughs> yeah. Um, who's that up there barking? Ziggy. This is Brian. Remember this guy? Hi, Brian. Hey, how are you doing? You better say hi to your wife, Brian. Hi, wife. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> His wife watches the channel. He don't know. He sees enough of me. He just laughs. So he, he lives out here in pristine Yellow Point. It's where I, was, I grew up out in the bush here, friends, years ago. 
Uh, hey, Pauline! Wait a minute, now there's the woman that watches the channel. Look, she's going to go on the channel. Say hi! Hey! That's Pauline, friends. Please send love. Yes. What did you say? Peace and love, she said. See, she knows. These are hippies from way back, especially this guy. So, friend, friends, these people, are, are they're awesome. They're awesome. Uh, this guy was, like I said to you, he was beside my bed when I got smashed up 12 years ago. But he, here's their issue, and it is an issue, actually. Actually, it's a fur, is it a fur, Brian? Yeah, it, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was. So, so a little fur, which is not good, friends. We shouldn't be losing fur. So let's go in and have a look at this. How do you get into this thing? Oh yeah. Oh, is it? Which way do we go, Bri? Uh, I think it goes either way. Oh, look at how strong this this man is. See these arbutus? These are madrone, friend. They just they they grow like profusively out here. But try and plant one. Try and uproot it and plant it. No, not gonna work. So look at this bugger. Now would you look at this? This little fur. So this is not a good sign. I'll be honest, it's not. Um, yeah oh my goodness yeah this one here is leaning right on the old house isn't it Ooh. okay looks like we're climbing today friends i mean old bucking could get pretty pretty risky and send it up here but it's the the lean is actually down and and towards the home you can see it if you go under it yeah, it's, it's not good, and it could get hung in that limb up there. No, we're not doing that. No, that's not a good plan. It'll get... I'm sure it's previews are up to date, right? Yeah, that's right, Brad. They are. They're right up to date. Well, look at this stuff, eh, friends? See these Arbutus? Like, like we, we call them Arbutus is what they are, okay? But look what they do, friends. They come, they, they grow out and in, and it, it, it really is beautiful. Watch out for poo-poo. It's nice here very nice here's these madrone we call them arbutus august hanukkah you know that august hanukkah character he's on youtube i think i seen him the other day driving a 1973 um what was it called a, a ranchero i think i seen him okay there's like landmines everywhere this is not good i'm gonna climb this tree right now so here we go look at this friends Look at this little thing. Hey, did you guys know this about this saw? You can actually grab the pull start. See, so, so you grab the, the pull cord, pop it out two pulls, hold it here with your finger, just hold it right here with your finger and stick the cap in and loosen off the oil and the gas. See that? Pretty cool, hey? So friends, I use, um, I use extra padding when I climb in jeans. I just put this tea towels, I call them the tea towels, and I just drop them in there. And it's just wonderful. That's all I can tell you. It is just wonderful. Okay? That's all. When you got your Vibergs on, you pretty much are in, in the mode anyway. So you pretty much are just in murder mode when you put your Vibergs on. It's game over for whatever's in your way, so it doesn't really matter anyway. You could wear leather caps like I did in Indiana, and it wouldn't matter. It just wouldn't matter, right? So, but this helps. Let me tell you that right now. See that? Slip those in there like that. Okay. Go. Give it the old one, two. Then you pull your, pull it back this way, pull it back. You see guys try and put spurs on and they're pulling out, pull back and around. Okay, so there we go, all strapped up. Put that in there, it's time to go. Okay friends, we're coming up on this 65, maybe 60, 65 foot here, up beside the house. It's here, it's a little spindly bugger. Not the, we can't fall it so. We're just gonna shinny up the bugger. Looks like Brian's got the poop scooped. So I can come in here now and start, commence the climb.
this tree oh it actually feels kind of interesting and these little trees you're going to want to oh yeah it's actually uh been dead for a bit you guys rocking yeah let's do it this little saw is just i can't even I, i'm excited about it i'll be honest with you echo nice job super nice job it's just like this is the perfect application for this for this thing it might be that top might be up in that limb i may have to hang a top i think i'll hang one anyway friends so i'm just gonna let limbs fly i don't have to catch nothing i can just cut it right off so let's oh this thing's so light <laughs> I can't believe that thing. Wow. This thing's in rough shape. It's soggy. I wonder if it's got any root system on it. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, if I fall, at least I'll only fall to the house. Boy, yeah, she's been dead a while. It's soft. Ooh. Oh, my. Better than I thought. Okay, that was a weird noise. Yeah, I think we might hang a rope and pull it up there. Yeah, yeah it's it's really it's way deader than I thought, Brian. Oh. Just trying to catch a feel for the for the root system. Wow. Yeah, usually they they stay fairly hard, the fur. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. So we'll just, we'll stay tight to the tree. We won't shock it at all. We'll just slide straight down it. See, just like this. Just keep my knees right close to it. None of this kicking off it and going back out. You know the deal. Okay. We, we got to watch the stump because if it's rotten on the stump, which I reckon it's not the greatest, I'll just tie a running bowline right now. You see? Just real quick around there. Around here and around there. Boom. Okay, up she goes. And there we go, we're in. I'll just throw this out to you, Brian. I'll go grab a power saw. Mmm. Hey, look at that, still candy.
thanks to Nizers up in Collington. We're gonna try this because I just put it together. It's gonna run funky, but we're gonna run it anyway. I didn't realize that thing was so rotten. I was just gonna hang a top. I wanted to show you guys that. Okay, it looks like Brian's all ready to go up there. You all ready to go, old timer? Oh yeah, you're fine anywhere up there. I'm just trying to find a... I don't... I was hoping not to hit this stuff, but... Well, here. See our problem is friends is we got a big fur limb there and I was trying to do my best on the lilac. I mean it's not the end of the world but I, I, I don't want to get hung up in that and have problems. I was hoping to go here to be honest but it is a little close to the house and this thing whatever this is. What is this thing? Okay I'm going to move it for a second. Yeah I'd rather put it here to be honest. Cause there's no obstructions no limbs or nothing you see that eh, friends so i'm gonna try for that so but you just keep pulling through bry okay but just use your body weight for now yeah yeah it, it, it's gonna go up there i'm gonna put it right high to that rock let's see if this home light will get us there friends
shots, eh? Here, Bri, turn those around and hand those to me. I'll take those as well. Yeah, give me a few more. Just kick them up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got them? Stick to stick there. Oh, okay. Just throwing them over there for now, Brian. Do you want me to walk them over there? Come and give them a thing. Oh, okay. Oh, just throw them over then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, of course. That was a good squeeze there friends i just wanted to normally in a scenario like that i would have shot more up there but if it had a broke off which i think it would have it would have smashed the lilac and all this beautiful green so i just took the chance i mean it was fine brian just pulled it over and i i'm gonna go to the firewood pal brian okay. i'm gonna go to the firewood pal you're good here yeah, that's close to the fireplace. this is dry it can literally go right in the stove. You okay. You're okay with that? Yeah. Well, friends, I, I gotta be honest. I, uh, I, I love these little saws, this little XL. I love it. Just freaking love it, okay? It seems to run okay. Here, let's get it. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, it runs good. It runs good. It, it, the, the, it's funny, you know, I've had a couple, three of these. And they seem to idle hard. I don't know why, like erratic a bit. This one's the best one in a uh, run on one I've got and had, but I don't think it's got the power that the others do, which is funny, but who knows? It still runs wonderful. These little saws, friends, these 50 and 60 uh, CC saws, you know, 30 to 60, they gotta be sharp as hell. They gotta be, you know, especially if you're gonna start laying on them, like a lot of guys do, they lay on them, dig the dogs in and just lay on them. It's, uh, let the saw work. <laughs> Let the saw work. Anyway, love this freaking little saw. Very much so. I might go do some more cutting with it. Yeah. But I want to check something real quick here. Um, so friends I want to talk about something real quick for a minute okay just just real quick on the uh, on the self self-improvement type thing personal level it's called personal level these talks on a personal level have you ever manifested anything in your own life like say 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago or four years ago or three or five or one or two years ago what I mean by that is thinking that man i would just like to this is what i want to do i just want to drive around in my old pickup with my saws in the back and my climbing gear nice and simple and just help people out cut trees for people and just make a living and work hard and just be simple do you know what i mean like whatever it is that you that was my aspiration that's what i wanted to manifest well friends it's kind of going on <laughs> <laughs> and has been for a long time but I'm just using this because it was hitting me again yesterday I was sitting at home it was raining like mad but I didn't have to go to work for some big conglomerate and go don the rain gear and go fight the elements not saying that's a bad thing just saying I didn't have to do it I could do something else 
So we manifest ourselves, friends. We manifest our own, we create our own destiny. I know it sounds cliche, but it is freaking true. And we're all doing it. We're all doing it even though we don't even know we're doing it. Truly. I think life is a feeling game, absolutely. But it's also a thinking game. You think yourself into a good place and act yourself. Think, thought, deed, right? The thought comes first, then the deed, the action, right? So it's pretty cool, friends. It's happening. I love it. Over now.